You can't see both of your children. You have to do something. Both of them can't be crazy. Now let's think about it, ladies. <laughs> let's be honest. Have you women ever dated a guy who you felt like was too good to just let go? Or you've invested too much to just let him go without a fight? Did you do or say some crazy things because you were heartbroken? Have you ever done that or that's just me? So no, just because I don't see both of my children doesn't mean I did something out of the ordinary. I'll tell you what I did do. I had sex without being married. That's the only conclusion. This is why God says don't do it. Because you got to deal with the BS. The chances of us changing laws to where it's in our favor so that we can continue to just have sex with whoever and not respect the covenant, I don't think that's ever going to happen. And I don't want it to. I accept what I've done. But no. Just because a man has multiple children. I only have two. But just because multiple women say bad things about a guy doesn't mean that guy's bad. It could mean that, not to be funny, either the D is good or maybe he was just too good for them to let go without a fight. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. All right? But uh, not letting your child see his father is not fighting fair. So uh, if you want to fight, make sure you're fighting fair, ladies and gentlemen. Make Army great again.